Harald Haas wanders through Edinburgh in search of light. While it may be just a vision, he wants to create the internet access of the future, a wireless network that sends data to mobile telephones, which he calls speaking light. Speaking light will revolutionize our world because it's a completely new system of communication, one that's never before been used for mobile broadband data transmissions. That will soon become a necessity. Mobile phone networks are already having bottleneck problems. As more and more users demand faster data transmission, network capacity has become a limiting factor. Visible frequencies generated by light-emitting diodes, or LEDs for short, could be the answer. They can transmit practically unlimited amounts of data. And not only that, every light source employing LEDs, both indoors and outdoors, can be used to transmit. Haas wants to see how many applications LEDs could have and is carrying out a research project at the University of Edinburgh to find out the best ways to use them. Using the simple sort of LEDs you can buy in normal shops, he's already able to show that audio data can be easily transmitted through light waves. Here we've got an LED that can transmit music, and you can demonstrate that it really does do that by interrupting the beam. Then the sound of music disappears. But when you clear the way again, then the music is transmitted again. That's a form of data transmission, an audio transmission using a light-emitting diode. The new technology would also mean that mobile phones could be used in aircraft. At present, their use is generally banned in flight. Haas wants to change that. He intends to make it possible to use a cell phone to make calls or surf the internet anywhere and at any time, even during takeoff and landing. The lights in the cabin will simply be linked to an aircraft's central data network, what's known as the bus system. In principle, an aircraft already has everything it needs to make it work. It's got a bus system, and it's got overhead reading lamps. The only thing you need to do is to allow these lights access to the bus system. That means the data bus in the aircraft only has to be able to create a connection to the LEDs. Every aircraft is already linked to the Internet via satellite. In the future, passengers could be able to access it through the ceiling lights. These would convert the digital data into light pulses that are invisible to the naked eye. If a notebook is fitted out with a special receiver, it would even be able to receive videos. And it would also be possible to send data, making in-flight digital communication a distinct and not too distant possibility. Haas is hoping to implement his new applications as soon as possible and is working with a German aircraft manufacturer to that end. One of the issues they're still working on is where to position the LEDs to give every passenger the best possible coverage. The ban on mobile phone communications could soon be a thing of the past. Instead, passengers might hear a brand new kind of announcement. You can use your electronic equipment during the entire flight. For further information, please consult our cabin lights. It all started with this desk lamp. It was the first device that the research team was able to use for communication. Haas worked out the formula for the necessary high frequency. This printed circuit board is at the heart of his research because it provides the LED light with the control signals for data transmission. In 2004, another member of the team achieved a breakthrough. The student came running into my office with this big grin on his face and said, it works. 
So we both went back to the lamp, and then he really convinced me that it worked. That was a great result. Haas foresees a lot of uses for his technology, in hospitals, for example. Medical diagnoses are increasingly carried out using complex instruments and devices, and these produce huge amounts of electronic data and images. These then have to be distributed via extensive cable networks. Haas wants to make the torrent of data manageable by using light transmission technology. His aim is to make the images available anywhere in hospitals, and even on cell phones. Often thousands of images need to be sent, uh, and therefore there's always this problem of the wires can't be thick enough um, to actually generate enough uh, flow of, of information. I think if you can do this with light, which is obviously uh, hopefully going to be a lot faster, uh, it will hopefully also then help us to get those images to where they need to be seen more quickly. Speaking of light, Haas believes it has enormous potential. That's why he wants to get it onto the market as soon as possible. And so it may not be any surprise in the future to find LED street lamps everywhere, and not just in Edinburgh.